grandfather passed away about two years ago, and I grew up with him. We were best friends. We called each other partner in crime because at night we'd all go out, hey, Paul, you want to go get some ice cream? Let's go run, run, let's go run and get frozen yogurt. And we all leave, and my grandmother would be like, what did y'all go do tonight? I know sweets were involved, you know. So we called each other the, the partner in crime. He was just my, my very best friend, and I lived with him while I went to LSU. And we were really, really close. And he was my, my number one supporter. I mean, he just, anytime people would come over to the house, he'd say, hey, Lauren. And I'd say, yeah, what's going on? He'd say, come, come sing Adele for them in the kitchen right now. And so I would be like, oh gosh, here we go again. And I would go in there and he would pull it out of me. You know, he'd say, come on, Lauren, don't be shy. Share your gifts. This is what the Lord gave you. Come on, come on, sing to these people. And he knew the place of joy that, um, it was coming from in me, and he knew that that would fall on the hearts of, of the people involved in, the, in listening and everything. So um, anytime someone would come over, he would say, I'm going to play that girl's music. And so there's kind of this theme of that girl. Um, and in the process of his support, um, I left LSU, moved to Nashville, and started writing and five months later found out that he was diagnosed with cancer. And it was definitely a journey where I had to choose, am I gonna pursue the career, am I gonna pursue the dream, or am I gonna take these moments with my grandfather really dear? And so um, one night I just decided, I know that people will support me in this, I'm gonna go home. And I just bought a plane ticket and flew home and um, he passed away a week later. And um, we were actually in that, that week we were supposed to record the record. And so I was like, I just know that, I just know it. Like the Lord kind of put the pressure on my spirit to go back home. And so I had to put the record on hold and everybody's timelines had to shift. And that was a lot of, of pressure involved, you know? But I just knew, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home and the Lord's going to do a mighty work. And He did. He showed up so prevalently in that room, in that moment where it was really difficult. And I mean, He was my best friend and I had never experienced loss before. So in the room, um, you know, my grandfather was laying there and he was passing away, but he was telling us, oh, I see Jesus. Oh, I see Him. He's, he's right over there, you know. and. You know, he saw his daughter that had passed away years before him, and he's like calling out their names while he's passing over. And God made death so real, but so beautiful in that time. He just, he entered the room with a peace like I've never felt before, with a, a closeness like I've never felt before. I felt like in the midst of this great sorrow, there was so much joy because I could see the process of my grandfather entering into the gates, entering into the streets of gold. So it made the hope so much more real because I was like, you know, I could mourn and go into this place of deep, deep, deep depression because he was really close to me. Or I could say, Lord, thank you for the years that you allowed me to have with him. And in my thanks, I'm going to be so grateful for the fact that He's in your presence. There's no pain, there's no sorrow, there's nothing that He's experiencing. And He passed away right before the record was released, right before the very first song went out on the, on the radio, like three days before. And you know, I could look at those moments and say, God, why didn't you just let Him last a little bit longer so that the thing that He had built up in His heart all of these years in, in supporting me, that he could see this come to fruition. Well, why did he have to pass right before? But I truly believe that God has a purpose for everything. And he knew, Lauren, this is gonna be a place of loss here on earth, but it's gonna be such heavenly gain for you on earth. Now, I'm not afraid of death. There's not a piece of me that's like, oh, death, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I wanna do this. I'm like, I'm ready. Like, let's go. It's going to be the most beautiful thing 
We're going to be in the presence of God. We're, we're going to be in the presence of loved ones. And it's going to be so beautiful. And He let me experience a little taste of that here on earth. Like, what a treasure. What a gift, you know? And um, so in that place, though, He said, you know, you can either look at this with incredible sorrow or you can take this and leverage it into the, your next season of life. So although we pushed back the record, we started recording a month or two later, and that's where the songs came in that month or two, where I was, all right, Lord, I'm going to go into that closet with you, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to petition the cries of my heart. All right, Lord, can you just please make all of this work for your good? And that's what he says in Romans 8, 28, that he will work all things out for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And that was just another moment in life where he was like, all right, I'm going to use this. And that's where the song Trust in You came. Um, I, I was really, you know, needing some clarity. All right, Lord, I, I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to be upset because I know that your, your thoughts are higher. Your ways are higher. You're, you're so much greater. You're seeing way more than I am in the, in the midst of all of this. And he saw all of the stories that were going to come out. He saw all the, the hearts that were going to be touched through my grandfather's legacy and what I did with, with his stories that he told me and how I transferred those into songs. And then now the hearts of all of these people are being intersected with the glory of God. And, and they're taking on this new um, place of hope. I will trust in 